Hi, I'm Pat Ham, and here I'd like to show you how I use Reason to record voiceovers. So this is what a typical voiceover session looks like when I'm recording voiceovers. First, let's have a look at our sequencer. You can see that I have a track here called Final Audio. This is where I record all of the audio takes for my voiceover script. Below the final audio track, you will see these four alt take tracks, and they're all muted. This is simply a place where I can copy and paste all of the voiceover performances so that I have a backup of them. That way, when I'm editing my voiceovers, if I make a mistake or if I screw them up really badly, I always have a backup that I can revert to. I also have a marker track where I put in empty clips with labels on them. This is so I can keep track of the various parts of my voiceover script. If it's a long voiceover script, I will have several of these clips. For shorter material, I will likely only have one. When I label these markers, I always make sure that the labels match any titles or labels from the voiceover script, so it's easy to match the audio to the script if I need to go back and make revisions. Now, I process my audio using light compression. Uh, I use the Selig leveler to boost the signal a little bit, and I use a noise gate. Now, this is because I produce the videos. The company that I work for, I often am called on to produce videos, including recording the voiceovers. So essentially, I am my own client. I do all of the production from start to finish. If you are recording to deliver a voiceover to a client, you will likely not do any processing unless they give you specific requirements. Maybe a noise gate if you have a noisy environment, maybe some very gentle compression. But beyond that, I have found that it's best to keep the audio as clean and untouched as possible. I also have a high pass filter on my voice, but as you can see, it's down very low. It's down around 60 hertz, so it's not really doing so much. I always like to put a high pass filter on my voice if I'm speaking or if I'm singing. But in this case, again, it's very low. It's not doing much to this audio. I usually reserve that for the video editing software because that's where I will include sound effects, background music, etc. So if I'm going to add a high pass filter to my voice, I usually will do it there. Obviously, tempo is irrelevant, but do not change it after you start recording. If you have not disabled time stretch on your clips and you change the tempo, you're gonna run into a lot of trouble. Basically, I just leave the tempo alone. Also, once I start editing, I will turn snap off. Since every edit to a voiceover performance is a fine tuning edit, there's really no point to having snap while you are editing the audio. So here I have a short voiceover session that I recorded from a script that I definitely wrote myself. So let's hear a little bit of it. All right, this is take one. <clears throat> take some water. You can't handle the truth. Son, we live in a world that has walls, and those walls need to be guarded by men with guns. Who's going to do it? You? You, Lieutenant Weinberg? I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly imagine. You weep for Santiago, and you curse the Marines. This is this <clears throat> part two. You can't handle the truth because deep down in places you don't talk about at parties, you want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. We use words like honor, code, 
loyalty. We use these words as the backbone of a life spent defending something. You use them as a punchline. I have neither the time nor the inclination to explain myself to a man who rises and sleeps. I would rather you just said thank you and went about your way, or I suggest you pick up a weapon or stand a post. <clears throat> Don't mess that up. Start with, or I suggest. Or I suggest you pick up a weapon and stand a post. Either way, I don't give a damn what you think you are entitled to. All right, so. I don't know if you could tell from the speakers you're listening to, but I can hear the room a little bit in that performance. That's only because I set this up really fast for this demo. Usually my environment is much more sound isolated. So the first thing that I will do when I'm working on a voiceover is select all my audio and alt drag it down to one of my alt takes lanes. And I might maybe move these down here to just kind of keep it together so it's not going out for like 20 minutes, just to kind of keep a nice block of the alt takes. Remember, they're muted, so I'm not gonna hear them. But now I am free to go ahead and trim this audio to my heart's content. And if I mess anything up, Remember, I always have this backup here that I can go back to. So let me go in now and do all of my audio edits. I'm going to go take care of that now, and I'll be back in a little bit. So now we're back in our voiceover session, and I have made all the edits to my audio file. And I have taken my marker clip and I've stretched it to the length of the full performance. So everything is inside of this marker clip. I also stacked all of my alternate takes down here in my three alt takes lanes. And as you can see, I've deleted the fourth alt take lane because I had enough space since this is a rather short voiceover session. Now for each one of my marker clips, and in this case, there's only one, I will click on it to select it and press P so that I can set my left and right loop points to the ends of the marker clip and automatically start playing back the audio so that I can preview this performance. You can't handle the truth. Son, we live in a world that has walls and those walls need to be guarded by men with guns. Who's gonna do it? You? You, Lieutenant Weinberg? Again, I definitely wrote this script myself, in case you were wondering. Now, I'm going to File, Export Loop as Audio File. And I'll do this for every clip in my voiceover session. Now, we all know how to do this, so I'm not going to actually do that, but let's cancel out of that. So that was a short voiceover session, but here is a screenshot of a much longer script that I worked on before. And as you can see, the alt takes lanes are full of audio and I have several clips in my markers lane. So this can give you an idea of what a larger session looks like. So if you are using Reason for voiceover, I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.